More Dallas homeowners are frustrated after a short-term rental brought dozens of people and lots of trash to their neighborhood last weekend. A city councilwoman says Dallas police and code enforcement are now investigating exactly what went on at that home. Fox 4's Lori Brown is live in Northwest Dallas with the story. Lori. Heather, Dallas City Councilwoman Gay Donnell Willis said that the city is taking this issue seriously along with the other short-term rental issues that she is hearing about. After the short-term rental brought hordes of people and the smell of drugs to this neighborhood, people who live here put up these signs calling on the Dallas City Council to take action. It was a constant flux of people coming and going. A neighbor captured this image of an armed security guard with a bulletproof vest walking outside the short-term rental Saturday. Why do you need security guard with a vest, an armed vest, mm -hmm. at the front door? Yeah. So, I mean, something was not right, and it is alarming. Another neighbor, Mike Long, says the atmosphere was not appropriate for the many young children in the otherwise quiet Northwest Dallas neighborhood. It was more out of a massage parlor than it was out of a family atmosphere party. Long says he is speaking out so people know how quickly short-term rentals can bring havoc to a neighborhood. I had never, ever imagined this was an issue. This is a huge issue. Something needs to be done because I guarantee you the city commissioners don't want this in their neighborhood. Nor does any other American Dallasite that just wants to live with their neighbors. The owner of the home leased it to a company that manages short-term rentals. He says that company then put the listing on Airbnb. Airbnb recently issued a permanent ban on house parties, although neighbors say it's not exactly clear what kind of activity was going on in this case. I wish Airbnb's rep would have been here Saturday night and they could have gone to the non-party. While we were in the neighborhood, the owner of the home came by to talk to us. Are you, do you still have an agreement with the management company? No, they're done. Does that yeah. frustrate you how that person handled this? They are very, they, they, at the very beginning, they were here and they were on property an awful lot, and then they left to go expand what they're doing with their business. I'm not going to fault them for doing that, you know. Okay. This is, this is, uh, this is a free country. Ted Reemsa, who grew up in the neighborhood, said he called police to ask the short-term tenants to leave the property Saturday. Please just go. And they fought that. Reemsa says there were a number of lease violations, from smoking and drug use to too many vehicles parked outside. He told us this is not what he was expecting when he signed on with the management company. Businessmen being relocated, nurses that need temporary housing. Is this kind of thing going to happen again? I can't answer that. I don't know what the future holds for, for, for that because there's several houses that are doing this uh, in the neighborhood, and uh, I, 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 I can't answer that. What do you want to tell neighbors that are worried that if it stays a short-term rental, they're going to deal with this again? We pray it doesn't happen. Reemsma is meeting with a new short-term rental management company tonight. A spokeswoman for Airbnb told me in a statement, we expect our host and guests to uphold our community standards, which includes respecting neighbors. We are currently working with the host on any reported damages and have removed the guest from the platform. The Dallas City Council is expected to consider a move to define short-term rentals as lodging, which would prevent them in residential neighborhoods. A vote on that is expected this fall.